Okay, Honda Insight people. Uh, this is what I've been working on for the last few weeks. Uh, this is the pack that came with the car, 2003 Honda Insight. It, it was uh, throwing the IMA codes on the dash there about every three days. So I pulled it out, took it apart, uh, pulled out all the sticks, except for the ones that have like the temperature wires wired to them around the other side and reconditioned them and there was one actually there's three in this pack that I thought were gone they, I weren't, wasn't going to get to use them anymore so uh, I brought them actually back to life by conditioning with a charger I was running six of these things cycling them up, cycling them down, cycling them up and down and uh, here's another set that I got uh, picked up and went through and reconditioned them all and at first I thought three of the sticks were just done. I even wrote bad on this one here because you'd put like a half amp load on it and it'd draw it down to four or five volts in 30 seconds. I had nothing left to it so I just wrote bad on the thing when I got to it last. And after playing with it and recycling it about probably eight to ten times I'd take it as far down as like 1.2 volts, almost 1 volt, at a very slow, slow drain. And then bring it back up at a very slow, slow charge. And uh, it brought it back to life. It's up to about uh, 6,000 milliamps, 6,200 milliamps. So, which is strange. I was getting ready to throw the thing away. And, oh yeah, you might notice my little sticker there. I haven't put that on yet. And uh, so these are all back. There's 19 of them here. I got one that I'm still working on over here. This is the last guy and he's just a little weak, number three. And uh, right now it's discharging him. You can see that. 0.7 amps. It's showing the milliamps. So it's gonna run the thing down. It's only been running for about 10 minutes or so. So it's gonna run it down. And it's gonna cycle it back up tomorrow morning I should have an answer on it, and if, again, if it's a little bit stronger, I need it stronger, I'll cycle it down one more time. And after I cycle them and get a good steady voltage on these things, usually they sit, when they're charged, right around the 8 volt range after sitting for a few days. Then I throw them on this Harbor Freight battery tester. And actually it works out pretty good, because when I throw them on here, it shows up in the... Uh, just above the 6 volt range here, which is green. I don't know if you can see that. So they usually start out right up there, right up in the 7.5 to 8 volt range like that. And I'll, I'll load them by flipping the switch on the bottom. It's like a toaster. These coils will start getting hot in here. And, I'll, and this thing will pull on those sticks, 30 amps. I had a clamp on amp meter that I clamp on the cable here. And it'll pull 30 amps. I usually pull 30 amps on a thing for about a minute and a half and it won't draw it down. And after I drop the load off it, I'll throw the multimeter on it and it's still sitting at um, 7.45 volts, something like that, even with a 30 amp load on it for a minute and a half. And that's how I can tell it's good. So that's what I'm working on. Got my little cooling fans running. One to keep the uh, sticks, I had them all lined up in here, keep the sticks cool when they're charging. And I had one over here that I turned off that was cooling the power supply. Because when you had four or five of these things charging, it was about 20, 25 amps. Or 20 amps, I should say, on the, on the, on the meter here. So now I'm just running this one power supply up top, working on this last stick. So you guys can uh, bring these sticks back to life, which I thought I was going to throw three or four of them away. And uh, they all came back. Real good, real good capacity to them by drawing them down on the little homemade load tester thing there. So it doesn't take much. I think these are probably 40, 50 bucks, Harbor Freight or something like that. Puts a good load on it. And these are 20, 22 bucks on uh, eBay. And that's all you need. I had to make a little extension because this little, the clamps that come with it weren't big enough to go to both ends. So I just had a little piece of, I don't know, 14 gauge. 14 gauge wire with a little connector on the end there and one of the original battery pack bolts so that's it guys just to let you know these are all the old uh, coverings that were on the sticks 
So I got a pack in the car now. Uh, I got this extra pack here that I'll keep in the closet here during the summer. And I'll uh, put a load on these sticks individually, maybe a month, month and a half, and uh, recharge them. Just bring them back up with this little device here and keep them good. And I guess these are spare sticks now. And these little egg crates I stole from the wife work out pretty good for uh, stacking your batteries. So keeps them insulated, keeps them separated. It's easy to put a multimeter to them and check them out too. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody out and gets their car going.